now a little tip for everybody using a mouse turn off your color layer and then turn back on your original photo layer it shows you where your shadows are so it shows you where your shadows are and it helps you trace around the photo to get perfect looking shadows hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jamie Cass, and uh, in this video i'm going to be showing you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to draw yourself using a mouse so before we get into the tutorial, make sure to hit the subscribe button and uh, leave a thumbs up on this video if you really find it helpful. It really helps me grow the community. Before you start drawing, first thing you want to make sure to do is have a clear and nice photo. And uh, I'm going to be using the Roddy Rich photo in this tutorial. As you can see, it has really nice and popping shadows in it. So it makes my work easier. You really need to make your work easier. So after that, you're going to want to set your brush. I made a tutorial already on how to set up uh, a brush using your mouse so I'm gonna leave the link in the description below or I'm gonna a card is gonna pop up somewhere around this screen so click the video and watch how to create your brush and uh, we can continue with this video five minutes later so I'm guessing you're done creating your brush then what you're gonna want to do is zoom in as much as possible start tracing around the picture so I'm gonna draw this nose just like that and uh, you really want to make sure that your lines are really neat so because the better your line work the better your art is gonna look so you really gotta put much much work on your lines and uh, make sure they are really really neat and small they really need to be small so once we're done with the nose we're gonna make our brush a little bit smaller and then start on with our lips oops that's a little bit bigger make it smaller then draw our lips and another thing don't fear overshooting your lines like don't fear overshooting your lines i'm going to show you how to fix that later on after we are done drawing these lips so let's really trace out these lips properly make sure all the lines are overshot and connected because that's going to really help you when it when it comes to shading then after drawing your lips what you want to do is turn off the background layer then mark the whole thing object expand appearance then click divide then after you can click a or v on your keyboard then start deleting the lines that you overshot select the line and press delete two times delete 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 two times delete two times delete and boom your lips are as perfect as possible see i need to save this shit <laughs> all right lips are done let's get to it. so before we leave the lips part i'm gonna open i'm gonna use my pencil tool to draw the black spaces within the teeth i don't really need uh to use my brush to draw those because it's gonna be a long long way so we use our pencil tool to draw in the black spaces the totally black spaces we see within the photos so i'm gonna go over here and uh and press black exactly so we're gonna keep on drawing this picture just move on with me. Draw the eyes. Overshoot. Make sure you overshoot your lines because you can really fix it afterwards. It's better fixing it afterwards than drawing lines that are not really, really like that. You dig? After drawing the eyes, we do the same thing. Turn off our background layer. Select everything object expand appearance and click divide oops sorry select all the overshot lines and click delete two times So after doing that, I'm going to select my pencil tool and draw out the hair. I'm using the keyboard shortcut. So if you want to use the keyboard shortcut, the shortcut for the pencil tool is N. You click N and uh, then just trace out the hair. Make it pure black, connect it and make it black. Remember, we are using the pencil tool with this, not the brush tool. Be 
bit by bit it's really nice to take your time with this stuff so that you really do it perfect take your time don't over rush it and uh, yeah Then with our beers, we are going to reduce our brush to the smallest size possible. What I really like to do is create a couple of lines, a couple of lines around then copy all of them and just paste them everywhere so that it really looks the same and uh, it saves time, it saves you time. Then after making sure that you've drawn everything and your line work is closed up, turn off your background layer and we, we are going to select the whole art piece, object, click expand appearance and this time we are going to click merge to make all our line work one. Then we are going to duplicate our line work, lock the top layer and we are going to put a color to our cartoon. So. Basically, you just want to choose a skin color. We are going to go to our rectangular tool and create a color on top. Right click, go down to arrange, send to back. We select everything, the line work plus the color and merge them together. Right click and hit isolate selected group. Delete parts of the color and then click on our second layer. The second layer, drop, drop it down and you want to make sure you lock every single black line you see down here until you see the color lines make sure you lock it so that it helps you not delete your artwork when you are deleting the color or changing the color of anything in the photo so lock that and uh, get back to your photo click it and uh, isolate selected group now we are going to tweak and change everything we want to change in this first change the eyes change the teeth Then after tweaking and changing our colors, we are going to duplicate the color layer. Make sure you save. Lock the bottom layer and turn it off. Then go back to the picture selected, click isolate selected group. And we are going to delete all the skin tone and just leave the eyes and uh, the lip color. We are going to delete all the skin tone. Everything that has the skin tone color except for the lips and the eyes. 
so before i get into the shading i'm gonna wanna click and change around my colors so i'm gonna select everything go to edit edit colors recolor with preset and i'm gonna go then i'm gonna click to color harmony so it gives me all this and uh, add some saturation to my color make sure everything really look, looks perfect and nice So after tweaking and changing everything, I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna make sure it's in between my line layer and my color layer. I'm gonna sample the skin tone that I used, then drop down and get me a nice shadow looking color. Now, a little tip for everybody using a mouse, turn off your color layer and then turn back on your original photo layer. It shows you where your shadows are. So it shows you where your shadows are and it helps you trace around the photo to get perfect looking shadows. We are using a pencil to draw the shadows. So yeah, and I'm really just drawing what I'm seeing right here. Just as I see the shadow, that's where I'm drawing it. That's how I draw it. Draw it and then click on the color layer. Just trace out everywhere you see the shadows at. Yeah. Make sure you make it as perfect as possible. Then once I'm done with my first shadow, I'm going to lock the layer, then create a new layer on top of it, but then transfer the new layer below it so that I can draw my second shadows. This time I'm going to go a little bit lighter with the shadows. Do the same thing, turn off the color layer, turn back, turn back on the background layer and trace where you see the lighter shadows. Okay, so once you're done with those shadows, lock the layer, create a new layer and put it under that layer and we are going to go even lighter with these shadows, so yeah. Yeah, so once I'm done with all the shadows, then I get to draw the dark, the most darker shadow that I see on the photo. So I'm going to create a new layer and put it on top of all our shadow layers. Then I'm going to sample the skin again, and this time I'm going to go extremely dark. That's like the dark, dark, dark shadow that I see on the photo. So after we are done with the dark shadow layer, I'm going to create a new layer and put it below all our layers, all our shadow layers so that we can draw the light skin tones.
And there you have it, how to draw a cartoon of yourself by yourself using a mouse. So I really hope you find this video helpful and if you did, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss because I have more hit coming soon. See you next time. Thank you for watching. I'm out.